Welcome to the ClearPath ePortal Developer 4.1 Capabilities Demonstration. This video is part of a series of videos which explain the steps to develop different types of data sources and presentation projects in ePortal Developer for modernizing ClearPath applications. In this demonstration, we will show you how to create a data source project for an MCP COBOL application. The MCP COBOL application that we have selected is an eBank application which implements some simple banking operations such as accessing account balance and transferring funds between accounts. So let's get started. We will create a new Visual Studio project by selecting Menu Option File New Project. We will now see the Visual Studio New Project dialog box. Notice that under Project Types, Unis's ePortal projects got added after the installation of the ePortal developer. There are two project types, one to create data source projects and the other for presentation projects. The first step in any ClearPath application modernization process using ePortal developer is to create a data source project. In this demonstration, we are creating an MCP COBOL data source. So let's click on the MCP data source. We can see there are two types of data source projects available for MCP, T27 and COBOL. Let's select the MCP COBOL data source project type. Let's name the project for our data source as eBank data source. For the location, let's select a folder named Workspace. For the solution, let's give the name MCP COBOL eBank. Click OK to create the project. Now let us start with the first development step and create server and client messages. Server messages flow between the ClearPath server and ePortal runtime. Client messages flow between ePortal runtime and the final presentation application. We will be creating these messages by importing the COBOL definitions. But before we proceed further, let's check out an option which generates a client message automatically whenever a server message is created and saved. Right-click on eBank Data Source node in Solution Explorer window and click on Properties. The eBank Data Source Property Pages dialog is displayed. Setting the value of option Auto Create Client Message to True causes a client message to be automatically generated when a server message is created and saved. Setting the value of option Auto Recreate Client Message to True causes a client message to be automatically recreated when an existing server message is modified. In this demo, we will allow the tool to create the client messages automatically. So let's set the Auto Create Client Message and Auto Recreate Client Message option to True. Click OK to close the dialog. Now right click the Server Messages node in ePortal Messages window and click New. It will open the MCP COBOL configuration dialog. Here we provide the server application information. Window name is the name of the window that is configured in Transaction Server for running the eBank COBOL application. In our case, it is COBOL eBank. Server name is the DNS name or IP address of the MCP server hosting the eBank sample application. In our case, it is TRProgD. Connector PSH endpoint is the port number that is used to connect to the MCP COBOL application. We will leave it to the default value 7952. Application character set specifies the character set in use by the eBank sample application. We will leave this to the default of EBCDIC. Let's leave this application uses EGI to denote the last send checkbox unchecked. Click OK to select a COBOL records definition file. MCP COBOL data source wizard will be opened. The first page that comes up is the welcome page. 
I will now check the option Don't show this welcome screen again and click Next. On this screen we will select the COBOL data definition file. All the COBOL-01 data descriptions associated with a COBOL program which need to be exposed in the presentation application are present in this file. This could also be a COBOL PROC. Let's click the Browse button and select the COBOL eBank.COBOL data definition file. Let's check the Preview Source checkbox to view the source code from the selected file. If we scroll, we can see all the COBOL-01 records. As we can see, for doing the eBank transactions, Bufin 01 record has different redefines clauses for different transactions. Transcode in Bufin records can have four values. ePortal Runtime moves the appropriate value in Transcode before sending the message to server. For example, to get the account details, value Get Accounts will be moved into the transcode. Make sure that auto discovery of COM send and receive records is checked. If this checkbox is selected, the passing process determines the message direction. Now, as we have selected the COBOL data source definition file, click Next. The next page displayed is the data description selection page. This page displays the list of data descriptions from the file we selected on the previous page. This can generate two kinds of server messages. In messages are being used to call the services on MCP and the output from the services on MCP is returned in out messages. In this video we will create in and out messages required for performing view account balances and transfer funds eBank operations. Let's start adding in server messages first. Select the Bufin data description and click Next. When a data description contains a redefines clause, the COBOL wizard presents each data description for consideration. Only one redefined data description is valid for each clear path server message that is created. So here, each redefines clause will correspond to one server message for doing an eBank transaction. Let's select the Get Accounts, Redefines and click Next. The next page displayed is the Data Definition page. Now, before we hit the Finish button, let's check the option Select Another COBOL Data Description. This will make it easy to add more server messages. Remember that corresponding client messages will be generated automatically because of the auto-create client message capability of the ePortal developer. Click Finish. Again, Wizard will take us to the page where we select the COBOL data definition file. Just click Next. The same steps need to be followed to create other in-server messages. Let's add the second in-server message, Transfer Funds. We have added all the in messages. Let's start adding out server messages. Select the accounts out and click Next. Accounts out is a server message received from MCP. Next, we have to select the unique identification for this data description. ePortal Runtime uses this unique identifier to select the correct ePortal server message when data is received from the MCP application. If there is no existing field which can be used as an identifier, then such a field or fields must be added to the data description. Here we can see that a field filler with value accounts has been added in the accounts out COBOL01 record. So click the filler field and then click the select button on its right. It will get added to the list of selected fields which act as an identifier. Click finish to add other out server messages. The same steps need to be followed to create other out server messages. Let's add the second out server message Confirm out. 
When doing it for Confirm Out, remove the selection for checkbox, select another COBOL data description and click the Finish button. Once we return to the ePortal message window, we can see that server messages and corresponding client messages have been generated. This completes the demonstration. Unisys offers a comprehensive set of ClearPath services to enrich the value of your ClearPath applications, data and systems. Please contact your Unisys representative for more information.